Free speech and religious freedom under fire again in Canada. This time it's not pastors getting arrested over COVID-19 restrictions, but a 16-year-old high school student. Josh Alexander shared his thoughts about transgender ideology at St. Joseph's Catholic High School in Renfrew, Ontario. Officials suspended him from class for the rest of the school year, and when he showed up to class for the second semester, he was promptly arrested by two police officers. Well, here to share what happened is Josh Alexander. Josh, it's good to talk with you. So what happened in class? What did you say that got you in trouble? Yeah, thank you for having me on. Um, so the, uh, the whole issue started uh, back in October, I suppose. Um, I had moved to the Catholic board. And uh, female students in the school informed me that uh, male students were using the female washrooms and they were concerned by this. Um, so I decided to talk about that. Um, I voiced my beliefs and uh, I expressed concern to the principal. Um, a female student also expressed concern to the principal and we were both ignored. Uh, so at that point, I decided to organize a protest outside to uh, shed some uh, light on what was going on in, behind closed doors. and. Uh, they ended up suspending me indefinitely two days before the uh, the actual protest. They gave me uh, an exclusion order. Um, this exclusion order was completely unlawful and discriminatory, and uh, so I decided to um, show up to school um, regardless of the exclusion order. And at that point, they hit me with a trespassing notice and another suspension. I waited all of that out until the end of the semester, lost four of my credits, and... Uh, by the beginning, next, uh, beginning of the next semester, um, with my lawyer, I informed them that I would return to school and continue to adhere to my religious beliefs. Not long into that time, I was uh, brought to the office, the principal blocked the exit, and uh, two police officers ended up uh, entering the building. And when they told me to leave, I explained to them the situation, how I was only in that situation because of my uh, beliefs and that I uh, exercised my fundamental freedoms and that I wasn't gonna leave on a request. So uh, they ended up arresting me and they charged me with trespassing. Were you hateful or disrespectful? What tone did you take when you said what you did? No, no, I wasn't I wasn't disrespectful at all. I, uh, I voiced my beliefs, my sincere beliefs, and uh, I never directed at a specific trans student that was doing anything. Um, I don't contone their behavior, but I also sympathize with them because they're a victim of our society. Um, and our education system and our the terrible parents that have encouraged and pushed that on their children. I was called a racist, a sexist, a bigot uh, by st like staff and students were involved in this stuff. And uh, yeah, I just continued to voice my beliefs and uh, I had ended up getting me arrested. There was conditions they wanted me to agree to in order to return to school. As a Christian, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to accept the falsehood. I'm not going to go along with the mainstream narrative that is completely contrary to God's natural order. So um, I couldn't agree to those conditions and uh, that's where I'm at at this point. Were you actually taken to the police station and booked, put in jail? Uh, no, they actually, they charged me from the cruiser and then they ended up uh, releasing me to my brother. Okay, and what was the reaction of your parents having their son arrested? <laughs> um, I doubt they're very happy about that. Uh, I mean, they, they recognized that uh, all I had done was express my beliefs and uh, they, weren't, they weren't too happy with the response from the Ontario Provincial Police or the school board. So they were supportive of their son expressing his faith in a Catholic school. Yes. Uh, imagine that. Uh, the principal declined to do an interview with a reporter from the National Post saying he couldn't comment about your case because of the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. That prevents him from talking about specific student cases. So what would you like to see happen now, Josh? Well, we're taking uh, we're taking my school to the Human Rights Commission. Um, I would uh, we also just had a uh, presentation. Um, at the school board meeting and uh, we got to uh, well I had a representative from uh, parents as first educators uh, they got to give a presentation and explain where we were coming from a bit and offered some uh, resolutions I don't know where that'll go but uh, hopefully we can find a resolution and uh, move on and that uh, the the safety of our female students would be taken a little more seriously and uh, the, our freedom of expression would be uh, 
defended rather than attacked by our education system. And, and the freedom of religion, your belief yes. uh, in a Catholic Absolutely. school. So tell us about the petition you've got going. Yeah, we've got a uh, we've got a petition. You can find it at libertycoalitioncanada.com. And uh, that, that's probably we've got some plans that we uh, we haven't yet uh, released, but the, that'll come in handy. So if you, if you want to support what we're doing, just go ahead and sign that petition. OK. And, and finally, Josh, how important is your Christian faith to you? Tell us about your relationship with Christ. Yeah, it's it's incredibly important. Um, I probably wouldn't be here today uh, if it wasn't for it. And uh I, I recognize that our uh, our freedom of religion is under attack, and uh, like I was said earlier, God's natural order is under attack. The the uh, the family unit in general is uh, being attacked from every angle, and they're starting with the youth. Um, you can see it not only in the education system, but even what they're doing with the Drake Queen story time hours. I was actually arrested the day after um, at the school. I was arrested twice in two days. Um, because I was uh, quoting scripture um, outside of a uh, Drake Queen story time. And uh, the police arrested me for that and uh, charged me again. So it, I would say my, my faith plays a fairly large role in it. I'm not going to silence myself. Uh, we're told to go into the world and preach the gospel, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. And there are consequences in a fallen world when you do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Josh Alexander, all the best to you. Thank you for sharing your time and thoughts. God bless you. Thank you. God bless.